Hi students, this is your science miss. In this session, we are going to do an activity from measurement lesson. Activity 2. Draw the following regularly shaped figures on a graph sheet and find their area by the graphical method. Also, find their area using appropriate formula. Compare the results obtained in two methods by tabulating them. So, we have regular shaped objects. We have example of A, B, C, D. In the four objects, Area we number normal formula we use panniyo, no. graphical method use panniyo, no. That is the and the answers yu, and the compare panni kaamke no. That is the activity two. Okay ingla? So now let us go to the experiment. Aim to find out the area of the regular objects like rectangle, square circle and triangle by using formula and also by graphical method. Materials required are graph paper, pencil and regular shapes. Regular shaped objects are rectangle, square, triangle, circle. Area of regularly shaped figures. First one, a rectangle whose length is 12 cm and breadth is 4 cm. So here I have drawn a rectangle with 12 cm length and 4 cm breadth. By using a formula, the length is 12 cm and breadth is 4 cm. The area of the rectangle is equal to length into breadth. So therefore, 12 into 4 is equal to 48 square cm. By using formula, we found the area of a rectangle as 48 centimeter square. Now, in a graphical method, after removing the color paper, the number of squares occupied by the rectangle is 48. So, therefore, the area of the given rectangle by using formula and by using graphical method, we got 48 square centimeter. Now, the square whose side is 6 centimeter. Here, using the formula, the side is 6 into 6. So, side into side, the area of the square is equal to side into side. 6 centimeter into 6 centimeter is equal to 36 square centimeter. In graphical method, I have drawn a square in a graph paper. By removing, removing the graph paper, the number of squares occupied by the square is equal to 36. Therefore, the area of the given square by using formula and by graphical method, we got 36 square centimeter. Third one, the circle whose radius is 7 centimeter. By using formula, the radius is equal to 7 cm. The area of the circle formula pi r squared. Pi is equal to 22 by 7 into r squared. Uh, 7 into 7. So the answer is 154 square centimeter. In a graphical method, I have drawn a circle in a graph paper. After removing the circle, the num I have given the numbers for the square occupied. In a graphical method, the whole square m is equal to 144, more than half n is equal to 4, half of the whole square p is equal to 8, less than half q is equal to 12. So, the area of the circle is equal to 144 plus 3 by 4 into 4 plus 1 by 2 into 8 plus 1 by 4 into 12. If we calculate this, 144 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3. Therefore, the answer is 154. Therefore, the area of the circle by using formula and also by using graphical method, we got 154 square centimeter. And the last one, a triangle whose base is 6 centimeter and height is 8 centimeter. By using the formula, 
that is the base is equal to 6 cm height is equal to 8 cm therefore the area of the triangle is equal to half into base into height so half into 6 into 8 if we calculate we will get 24 square centimeter so by using formula we got 24 square centimeter as the area of a triangle and now in a graphical method i have drawn a triangle on a graph paper after removing the graph paper i have allotted numbers for the squares the whole square m is equal to 19 more than half n is equal to 3 equal to half p is equal to 4 less than half q is equal to 3 so therefore the area of the triangle m plus 3 by 4 n plus 1 by 2 p plus 1 by 4 q at last we got 19 plus 2.25 plus 2 plus 0.75 so totally we got 24 okay so therefore the area of the triangle by using formula and by using graphical method we got 24 square centimeter so by comparing the results rectangle the area using formula and area using graphical method so we got answers for rectangle 48 square centimeter in both the methods for square 36 centimeter for circle 154 square centimeter and for triangle 24 square centimeter so we compared in both the methods is it clear for you all so students go through the video once or twice for better understanding thank you students